my beauties, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay. So today we are doing what are their emotions for you? What are their current feelings for you? So as always, it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. This is deck number one and this is deck deck number deck number two. Uh, think about you, think about your person and push the energies into the deck. Go from where your instinct is pulling you, your first initial thought, number one or number two. Okay, that's it. Right, let's go. Can you get me into deck number one's energy, please? Deck number one's energy. So I just got from the Lion King, uh, can you feel the love tonight? the love tonight and think about your person can we get into their people's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes so there is a heart-centered energy here coming forward with that song from both of your parts not just from me okay can you tell me please what are the people's emotions for those watching so it goes we're going right into the essence of their heart and where they are and what's going on um, regardless of your situations oh my goodness are they feeling sorry for themselves <laughs> what are their emotions going for how many do you want five six Your people are feeling extremely sorry for themselves. Playing the victim as such in their mind about the situation and that although it's been on their head that they've caused this to kind of go the way it has, um, they're feeling sorry about it. They are regretting their actions with you and how they've handled it handled it so a lot of your people have kind of walked away from the situation at the moment that could be uh, they've walked away from love they've walked away from you as a person they're with someone else or you're in a little bit of contact or you're in no contact regardless of your individual situations it feel you lot of feeling as if your person's just kind of put you on the sideline at this moment in time and they've walked away from the situation um they're feeling fed up they're feeling sad they're feeling lonely, they're feeling sorry for themselves, and they're feeling regretful about how they've handled everything and how they are currently handling the situation. But your people are stubborn, and they're very stubborn, too stubborn for their own good. So at this moment in time, they are sticking by their guns, but that does not mean that they are not sad. In fact, they are feeling very, very low about the situation um, and feeling very isolated. They're feeling as if they have no one to talk to over the situation. Now, a lot of them have had fears, which is why the situation has kind of unraveled the way it has. Fears about getting close to people, fears of stuff that has happened in their past, fears of um, things not going to plan, fears that they're wanting everything too soon, too quick, you want it all and they're not ready. Whatever your individual situations are, there has been this fear-based energy and this is why your person has kind of pushed you to the sideline at the, mo at the moment. They've been feeling very overwhelmed with it all, but now they're kind of regret starting to regret how they've handled the situation. A lot of them have kind of come forward with a more sexual energy towards you rather than a heart-based energy, and that's left you feeling confused as to what you are and what you want, what you what they want from you. Um, reason for that is because sexual energy can often overtake heart-based energy because it's just easier for these people, to talk, your people as a whole, to talk about. If they start talking about emotions, that's when they start to feel vulnerable and your people don't like talking about emotions. So the sexual energy kind of comes to the forefront of, of their mind um, and with you. So you might be thinking they don't actually care because they've been a bit too sexual. Actually, it's kind of a reversal of that. Underneath this sexual energy that they've been portraying to you is their emotions. Um, but they've hidden away from it and that's why you're kind of feeling where you are at this moment in time and you haven't been able to talk to them about it because whenever you've tried to talk to them about it they've pushed you away or changed the subject to a sexual conversation so this is where they currently are now what's happening in this kind of downtime between the two of you is they they are starting to realize that there is more going on to this than meets the eye that there is still emotions here that they have got feelings for you that they can't get you out of their mind that there is this kind of connection that they can't seem to break away from um, and that they are also feeling that they are the ones that are in control of the situation at the moment um, 
and they're the ones that are kind of got the key to it all. And it's kind of true at this moment in time, which is why you guys need to keep stepping into your power so that you can gain the control of it. Um, so this is their stubborn energy. They're standing in this stubborn energy at the moment and not really doing anything about it. But they are realising the truth that they have got these emotions for you and that they're the ones that are holding the key. Now, as things progress, they're going to start balancing their energies out a little bit, for, uh, a little bit more. Um, and start to realise that actually they do want this longer term future with you. They have got love emotions towards you. They do really, really care about you. Very strong feelings here. Um, and this realisation is going to hit them with this massive kind of wake up call. It's like one day they're literally going to turn the light switch on, wake up and smell the coffee. So at the moment they're kind of hiding away from it all. But when this moment of truth hits them, they're going to realise that they have these strong emotions for you. And they'll feel more stable about wanting a future with you, wanting a new beginning with you. And that's when your longer term objectives are going to be met and they're going to come towards you with a stable offering. Okay, so they do love you. They do do have very very strong feelings for you they're just hiding away from it all at the moment because they're coward a bit cowardly um because they've let these fears take control of them but through these fears taking control of them they're now feeling very alone and feeling very isolated and feeling very stuck um and thinking well maybe i didn't handle this situation in the best way possible maybe i haven't handled it right have the wake-up call Realise that they can't just run away from these emotions towards you because there is underlying feelings there. Um, feelings that at the moment they're just pretending aren't existing. Feelings that they are pretending aren't at the, uh, that they're putting to the back of their mind rather than allowing them to come to the forefront. But once they come to the forefront, you have this movement here with a new beginning coming through and this heart-based energy coming with a celebration as well spirit are saying there is going to be a celebration you might feel that you're not on the right path at the moment that things are really down for you uh, but spirit are asking me to reassure you um that you are on the right path you're having this period of healing at the moment take your time and go gentle on yourself your person does love you they're just being a bit of a nitwit nitwit best thing with nitwit best english there being a bit of a nitwit my guide is saying um but they'll have this wake-up call and realize and these they'll work through these illusions and once they've worked through these illusions and seen the truth of things that is when this this is going to come towards you with these longer term objectives being met so they do love you they're just in a bit of a hiding hiding energy at this moment in time okay that's deck number one right let's do deck number two now this is a deck without the eyes so don't freak out those of you that um I don't know if you've seen them before, they, I, as I always say I want to draw little eyes on these people, but it's a beautiful deck, um, but they don't have eyes, so just bear that in mind, okay. So think about your person, can we get into the person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes, and let's get into all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of the person. And let's pull out the current energy, please, on how their emotions are towards the people watching. What are their emotions? What are their people's emotions at this moment? What are their emotions? Four. Oh, nine again. I just got your never walk alone. Um, not for Liverpool Football Club, but this song from the movie Carousel. I think that was its origins. I don't know where it really came from. What are their feelings for the people watching? Okay, so you guys have had a little bit of a rough ride of your person. It's been backwards and forwardsy. It's been here and there, it's been what's actually happening, what's actually going on, who's actually in control of this, no one knows what's happening, and you kind of come to this stalemate with your person. Now, at this moment in time, your person is having a, a bit of a rest, don't freak out about the eyes, having a bit of a rest from the situation. Um, they're feeling that the pathway in front of them, they've got two directions to go down and they are weighing up their choices on which direction they want to take. And they're feeling a bit clueless and they're feeling a bit blind and they're not really sure what they're doing. They're hiding away uh, from their emotions. They've got this kind of denial going on in their heart at this moment in time. They're trying to see 
what pathway they should be taking but they're adding two and two and they're not getting the answers of it and that's creating this conflicting energy in their heart and their mind and so they're trying to act on logic at the moment rather than their emotions um, because logic they think well it can't happen it won't happen it can't be like this it can't be like that and this is why they've got this stagnant energy because when they try to make moves forward their heart is pulling them back towards you so they're trying to move forward but they're not doing a very good job of it and they're just kind of staying stagnated at this moment in time they are standing in quite deck number one had this as well quite a stubborn energy um trying to keep stable trying to keep secure but also equally spirit is saying they're appearing to be a shadow of their former selves they've lost themselves along the way they've had a lot of stuff that's happened in their life um, and they don't really know who they are as a person and this is another reason why they haven't quite took this method of which direction to go down they haven't really come to terms with that at the moment because they're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves um, that they've been in this stubborn energy and that all this stuff from the past is coming up to haunt them at the moment and that's what's another reason what's stopping them progressing down one pathway or the other pathway so they'll be trying to break away from you at this moment in time but actually it's not working um they trying to keep their energies balanced like i said they're weighing up their head and their mind but when it comes down to it the love that the two of you share is very very strong they have extremely strong feelings for you but they're very scared of admitting that um because when they admit it it means they have to do something about it and whilst they're in this stagnant energy they're not going to want to do anything about it other than just kind of see what happens and see how it progresses um so they're not doing anything really, but be please bear in mind that there is emotions here with you for you. They can see that you two could have a really happy future. Um, they can see that you could have the whole package together, but they're just trying to work it all out at this moment in time um, and avoiding it. Again, when they avoid, they don't have to do anything about it. They will have a bit of a wake-up call. They'll have a bit of a reality check as things progress, especially if you guys back away from them. A really good book for you to read would be Fuck Him, Nice Girls Always Finish Single by Brian Knox. And remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender-specific, but it's a book that's quite enjoyable. And it will help you get into that power-based energy, which will then will start them chasing after you. Please don't chase them, because if you chase them, you're going to back them into a corner, and they're going to start kind of cutting you off and and ignoring you and that's going to make you feel even worse your best bet is to stand in your power as your collective energy stand in your power and they will come to you they will start to chase you down natural instinct of wanting what they can't have and if you're taking it away from them they're going to want to get it there is emotions here they can see there is a future between the two of you but they're just stagnating the energy by not making choices um they're going to work it out in their mind they're going to realise that they have to do something about it. And even if they cut you off for the time being, please don't stress about it because there's movement back towards you here. Um, and the energy that they have for you, this heart-based energy, um, is unconditional. You know, almost like a, child, a, a parent's love for a child. They do have these strong emotions for you, this unconditional love for you. But they're just taking a while to realise it. They know that there has to be a number of choices that they have got to make over the situation. And that's another reason why they're stagnating the energy. Because they're scared of things changing. They're scared of embracing the new. There's someone that, as a whole, your people don't like change. Um, so they will stagnate that energy there. Um, but with the lovers coming forward, there is these very strong emotions for you. They just don't really know how to handle it. Um, like I said, if they do cut you off for the time being, please don't get your knickers in a twist. Just give them the space. Um, and that space is going to prove better for you that they will soon come back towards you. Trying to weigh up this logical side of things at the moment, their head and their heart, and they're still acting on their logical side rather than their heart-based energy. Um, and this is where that sense of denial is coming through. But they'll, they'll make a path, they'll choose the path, and even if they choose a different path from you for a little while, Spirit is saying that they will turn, turn and walk, take a wander and turn around and come back. And um, They're just being quite stubborn with it all at the moment. So emotions for you is largely in denial, but there is heart-based energy there, and they can see that there is a future with you. They're just not really quite sure how to get there at this moment in time. Um, yeah. They would like to see what happens between the two of you. 
but they've got to let this logical side kind of fade away a little bit and at the moment they're not doing that. You're probably looking about a month or two as your collective energy for them to have this really big wake up call and make these strong moves back towards you but do know that they do love you, they do care about you deeply um, but they are just stagnating the energy and pausing it. That's step number two. Okay, so if you need me, uh, all the information is in the description. Uh, just drop me an email. I do 50 minute, half hour and single questions. All the information is on the website, apart from teaching. I do mentoring um, as well. So if you want info on that, give me a shout. Um, and that's it. All right, guys, have a really good week. Look after yourselves. Take care. Bye.